Okay, so chapter three is where we are now, and we are going to be looking at um, numerical descriptions of data, so different ways that we describe data, things that you have, I'm sure, heard about before, mean, median, mode, um, and we'll get a few others as well. So again, the big picture of where we're at um, in this particular section is we are going to be talking about um, what does the average individual look like? So once we get all of this information, okay, what does the typical individual within our sample happen to look like? All right, so um, some things about notation because these are the symbols you're going to be seeing and using. So um, we've already talked about the symbol for sample size. Um, sample size is a lowercase n. Um, when we're talking about the population, we use a capital N to represent the size of the population. Um, for a mean, okay, a mean or what you think of as an average, although we're going to use the word mean um, more often to be specific. There are different kinds of averages. Um, for a population, the symbol is a Greek letter mu. Okay, kind of looks like a lowercase u with an extra tail, or some people say like a, a weird pointy m. I don't know, take your pick. Um, and then for the sample, the symbol is x bar, literally a lowercase x with a bar across the top. Okay, and we say that X bar. So again, if you want to write down how you say these things, so you look back later and you remember, we've got mu and we've got X bar. Okay. Um, in general, unless instructions tell you otherwise, and occasionally they will, um, our rounding rule is going to be um, round one place past where the original data happened to have been rounded or presented. Okay. So go one decimal place passed as our general guideline, again, unless specified otherwise. All right, so here we go. Um, a student takes a random sample of regular unleaded gas prices in price per gallon um, in her area and gets the following information. So first thing, what is the population? Okay, so again, think that word all what okay all what so in this case it would be all gas stations in her area okay now how you want to define her area you know that could be the county it could be the city it could be the state whatever but all we know right now is it's in her area okay what is the sample well, the sample would be the, count up the values there, the eight that she surveyed. Okay. All right, what is the variable? So what did she find out about each one of those gas stations? Okay, so she was doing the price per gallon that's what she was trying to find out, okay? And then find the mean, median, and mode and interpret the measures of center, all right? So the mean, just as a reminder, again, something most of you probably are well aware of, but the mean is where you add up the values and divide by the total number of values, okay? What most of us say is, oh, it's the average, but again, all three, mean, median, and mode, are a type of average. So for the mean, we're going to use the symbol X bar. This is a sample, okay? And we're going to use X bar as our symbol. So when you add up those eight values and divide by eight and round one place past where the data is, so we're going to round to three decimal places, um, you should find out that the mean is 2.788 per gallon, okay? All right, for the median, um, the median and the symbol for that we can use, some people just use a capital M, 
Um, you can also use M-E-D for median, but there's, and you can write out the word median if you would like, okay? But capital M or M-E-D is usually what you'll see. Remember for the median, what you need to do is line up your data in order from largest to smallest or smallest to large, or largest to smallest or smallest to largest. Again, it doesn't make any difference. Um, so I'm gonna line these up real quick here. Um, so 275 is our smallest, and then uh, 277 three times, so 277, 277, 277, um, then a 278, a 279, 281, and 286, okay? And the median is the value in the middle. Now we have eight values. So the middle falls right here in between 277 and 278. So when you have a median that falls in between two, what you do is you add up the two values on either side of the center and divide by two. Okay, you basically find the mean of those. And so we will find out that 2.775 ends up being the median, okay? And then the last one is mode. There is no symbol at all for the mode. You just write out the word mode. And mode, as a reminder, is the value that appears the most often, okay? The most frequent. Um, and in this case, that's $2.77 per gallon. And there's no need to do any rounding there. Um, if you wanna include the zero, you can um, at the end to make a third decimal place, but no need. Okay, so again, when it comes to interpreting, okay, interpret the measures of center. So when you look at that information together, okay, all of it together, what would you decide? Okay, so we've got a, we've got values of 2.7, roughly 9, 2.775, like 2.78, 2.77. Um, so again, which one would you like to report or how would you summarize that? So I would say something like on average, and I am going to use that term average because I'm talking about all three at this point. I have all three combined together. Um, on average, the price of gas in her area is and then you again get to make some decisions. And I, I know like this is so gray, it is. Statistics is a gray area. The person doing the analyzing gets to make a lot of calls, okay? But there are good and bad calls to make. So I'm gonna kind of pick that middle ground. Um, I'm gonna say about 277 a gallon. If you said 278 a gallon, I think that would be perfectly acceptable. I would not argue with you at all, okay? All right, and then on the next page, we've got uh, E here. And one little last discussion question. So if we take the population to be all gas stations in the US, okay, can we assume our sample statistic, our mean, okay? So sample statistic is a statistic, a numerical summary based on the sample. So we're gonna use the mean in this case, will be exactly the same as the population parameter. So remember, a statistic is the same thing to a sample as a parameter is to a population. So if we're talking about the mean of the population compared to the mean of the sample, would we assume that the sample mean will be exactly the same as the population mean, okay? And the answer to this question, I'm hoping that you're saying like, no, it shouldn't be. All right, if you say yes, we need to have a conversation about that the next time we meet live. Um, but no, it's not going to be. That goes back to the idea that we saw in an earlier section, sampling variability. Okay. Sampling variability tells us each sample will very likely have a different mean. Okay, 
Um, for the next example, please have your TI-83 or 84 calculator out and ready to go. We're going to go through um, how to get some data into your calculator.